I really don't like when students or when a person is being taken on away or like medicine after that. I'm not that kind of person. And so whenever I get any update, I like sharing it so that every other person can benefit. Yes, keeping it to myself would not add anything to me. And so sharing it would actually make me so happy. But before I continue with this video, if you're just coming across my channel for the first time, you're welcome. I'm Doris, or simply call me by B as my channel's name. Yes, please, if you like it here, what I share, I share about studies, migration, and also helping students in getting settled. If this is the kind of content that you've been searching for, then you are in the right place because you're going to get it right here and please kindly subscribe like and share my videos it's really a way to motivate me or like encourage me to make more videos thanks so much i would actually like to remind us we students that one thing about the portuguese is the no policy they always refer you back to their policy and i've been mentioned in one of my videos about reform policy this is very very important i'm going to share a story about my sister how she got a reform but then i know a lot of us don't know about some schools or this particular school about their reform policy and i'm sure sharing this video would help a lot of students like people that are not really buoyant yes a lot of us don't want to waste our money and if we are aware of this policy we wouldn't even venture into it okay so let me start by telling the story the um, last year my sister got admission to a school ISCTE and we actually paid the tuition fee and also the registration every normal thing a student would do and we were waiting for visa while waiting for visa she actually applied to a school in in Malta and she got full funding did you hear me full funding that a scholarship so what then we had to start making plans to collect a refund. The first thing I had to do was to go and search for the refund policy. And when I got the refund policy, what I did was to screenshot it and I wrote to the school requesting for the refund to actually make them know that I'm aware about their refund policy. Okay, and so after writing the letter, they I think they did not respond, so I had to give them a call and at the end of it all, it was resolved and she was refunded. Yes, there is always a limit. And so that's why I usually tell students, always try and know their refund policy. In our own case, it's not as if a visa was denied. A visa was not denied. The only thing she, she got was she got a scholarship. And when you're getting the full scholarship, why would I go to a school where I would have to pay the tuition? She paid 3,500 euros. And aside from, I think, aside from the enrollment fee. And so we actually got the money, some of the money back because it's well stated in their policy. Okay, so I will be sharing a screen, my screen, to let you know because this particular school, I know a lot of us will be contemplating. I don't want you to feel um, discouraged if you have applied. But then, if you're the one good thing I like about this school is the the the, the acceptance rate is quite high. Like they accept students, but then you also have to consider your visa process also so i would always advise students that if you think you are buoyant enough like you have the account your account is good it is a busy account then i would advise you to stay to apply to that school why because one they teach most of their courses in english and 
it's like a private government school and it's really in the center in the capital city and also the tuition fee is quite encouraging yes it's even some of their courses are even cheaper than a, a, a government school and so i love that school we have some nigerians in that school and if you think you're buoyant enough like your account statement is a good one please go ahead it's really a good one but then if you are just in the middle like you are not even sure whether your your pof would scale through i wouldn't advise you to apply to that school okay why because once you apply to that school and your visa is being denied there's no way your enrollment fee would be will not be given to you your first tuition also would not be given to you so i'm going to share my screen for you to see where it is written and you would always take note yes i have to give them a call to actually confirm if it was true and the response i got means a lot and I decided to share it with you guys. So come along, let's see it so that you don't fall victim. And also, you can also, those that applied to other schools can also check out and see their refund policy. Okay. So guys, this is the default state of the school's website and application I've actually started if you don't know about it. Okay, so let's pick a program that we want we want a master's degree okay so now here comes all the courses that they have um they have asian studies communication studies cultural culture studies let's pick this communication studies okay it's a good course so let's pick one of it um let me pick on communication and digital transformation so we can see how it looks like um, let's quickly go on just follow my mouse I love this school because they teach in English for those who are searching for English course and one thing again is their tuitions are cheap okay so let's click on tuition and see what they have there you can see it just a quick one so that you can see what I'm talking about you can see the language will be in Portuguese and English so they will teach both Portuguese and English in the class okay look at the notes here you can see monthly fee for 30 per semester okay the application enrollment and first tuition payment are non-refundable. Okay, I called the school and I was like, what if um paradventure the visa is being denied and there is proof? Uh, what the the response I got from them was not encouraging that once payment is made, there is no refundable. And so if they have written it on their site, I think as a person you should also take note of that they are for application fee you can see it how you can see it from january 15th to 26th and their tuition the application fee on a normal day application fee are not refundable in all schools in portugal okay we are sure we are we know that okay you can see 135 euro 155 euro 200 euros you can see their tuition fee they have calculated everything here and if you're paying for the first tuition as an international student registration which is the enrollment which is 520 and one part of the tuition fee see 100 and 612 and it is not refundable well it's now a decision for you to take i hope you understand what i'm trying to say once you make your application enrollment and first tuition payment they are non-refundable please take note of that so guys you can see what i'm talking about one thing about the portuguese is 
they are good at referring anyone back to their policy and ones i don't they are these people they are not two-sided they are straightforward people yes they might be slow but one good thing about them is they are straightforward everything is written in their policy all you need to do is to get yourself acquainted to their policy and by the time you abide to it you see yourself scaling through if you have watched up to this moment thank you so much and if you have not liked the video and you got something uh -uh, why not Give a like to this video so that it would encourage me to make more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.